So we do have to talk a little bit, hopefully, about OFR. I think people look back at that album and still love it to death. I mean, what are your thoughts on it, looking back on it? Well, I think our music was great. I mean, I think Jim and I wrote, I mean, the songs, Double Trouble, yeah. The Shot Heard Around the World, the really catchy songs. We had great songs. What we didn't have is the label one, you know, we had a 19 year old lead singer. Jim was 20 years old when the album came out. Oh, wow. um, you know, we had a young band. Um, he could sing anything. The label really told us if Michael, if you overplay all the time and Jim, you can sing higher than an octave higher than Jeff Tate in Queens, right? I mean, the guy was singing a fourth and a fifth higher than Jeff Tate's highest note. He wanted the product the production really abrasive. They, you know, it's kind of like Metallica's Injustice for All, yeah, where yeah. the music is really great, but the production, it's a certain way. Some people like it, some people hate it. But we were purposely, uh, we were purposely mixed and mastered like that, and we were featured. And I think if you heard our demos, we had backed up. Jim still sang really high. I still, I still played fast, but it was way more in the context of of what I grew up with, which, you know, you had a melody to start with, but I think the songs have stood the test of time. They're really good songs.